do you want to go from this to this? I hope you guys are ready because it's gonna be lit. So, first, we're gonna be doing my wig. Um, this is a wig from alphaherwigs.com. And yeah, not sponsored. They did send it to me for free, free. So here I'm just showing you the pamphlet of their different wigs. It comes with a nail file, a hair cap. And this is the wig unboxed without me doing anything to it. And the wig was mad soft. I was shook at the girl. So it comes pre-plucked, so you don't have to do much, honey, natural hairline. It's my hair. So usually when I get wigs, I'm like, first, I want to like go ahead and, you know, just baby hair the heck out of it. But I really should have just left it, you know, without baby hairs. So I'm going to be using Gatsby glue just because I am not actually going out in this video, but do not use this to go into the club, girl, because your wig is going to fly into the air, honey. It's going to be gone. So tie your hair down or make sure it combs. So I'm going to be adding some mousse just to define the curls a little bit more and to train the part. So I would actually skip baby hairs on this wig the next time I use it just because it looks more natural because the hairline's already pre-plucked. So yeah, so the next day I washed it and dried it, it's so cute and curly. So first we're going to go in with our LA Colors Concealer just to have a base under our eyeshadow. Then we're going to take a tan color and put that in our crease and blend that in. It's going to be our first transition color. Then we're going to go in with this darker shade and put that into our crease. We're also going to blend that. And you just want to blend until you can't blend anymore until your fingers literally fall off. Now we're going to cut our crease with the LA Colors Concealer. And I literally, this is the first time I tried this, using it from the brush. And I really like it. I'm surprised I didn't think of it earlier. <laughs> then I just pat that in to kind of seal it. And I'm going to use a flesh colored eyeshadow <laughs> to put on top of that. Then I'm going to go with that pink and blend that in to the middle. We're not going to put it all over the lid. We're just going to blend it kind of from the outer corner to the middle. Then we're going to go in with this dark plum shade and we're going to blend that into our outer half. So now we're going to put on a under eye concealer that's at least 17 shades lighter than your skin tone. Because how else will we get a man? Am I right? Okay. So now we're going to put eyeshadow on our under eyelid. I wait till after I do the eyelid to do my under eye concealer because of fallout, then it'll just mess up your under eye concealer and that's not cute, sis. Yeah, so I just added eyeliner off camera. And now we're gonna do our foundation. Yes, girl, cover up the ugliness because boys don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna be using Airspun to set our faces. <coughs> you wanna be careful with it because you do not wanna be flashback Mary. <laughs> So now for my favorite part, you know, you want to So we put on um, all the highlighter in the palette. Okay, so let's move on to the tragedy that are my eyebrows. <gasps> wow! Pray for them. <laughs> They're not doing well. So now I'm going to be taking this glitter liner. It's pink and it's kind of cheap. It came from Amazon. There's like 10 of them for like $10, I think. But I try to make a solid line, you know, I try. So now I'm going to add mascara and eyelashes and voila. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that beauty right over there. So lastly, we're going to do our lips. And please always have Vaseline or chapstick on. You do not be that girl with the crusty lips in the club. So we're going to be using this vanilla lip tint. It's like a purpley color. Don't know the name, it's scratched off. So rip to that, but yeah. Woo! <laughs>